Feathers are hot right now, but feathered accessories can be expensive to buy. Today I'm going to show you how to make three different hair accessories featuring feathers. This project was sponsored by favecrafts.com. The first one I'm going to show you is a plumed ribbon flower. You'll need some ribbon and a needle and thread. You could also use your sewing machine, but it really isn't worth pulling it out for this simple project. Thread your needle and leave it attached to the spool. Sew a running basting stitch close to one edge of the ribbon. If you're unfamiliar with sewing, this is simply weaving your needle in and out with long stitches that are far apart. The flower I'm making has just one layer and uses about two and a half feet of ribbon. If you were to keep going and use a longer length of ribbon, you could coil it around itself to make a big spiraled flower. Leave the needle attached to the thread and cut the end of the thread attached to the spool. Tie a triple knot in the end of the thread. Cut the ribbon a bit above your last stitch. Then gently tug with the threaded needle so the ribbon bunches up. Your ribbon should now be in a circular shape. Fold the raw end of the ribbon under itself to prevent fraying. Then stitch the two ends of the ribbon together. Start stitching from underneath so the knot won't show. Make sure your last stitch is on the back as well. Tie a triple knot to finish. You can put either a brad or a button in the center of your flower. Apply a generous amount of hot glue on the back and press it to the middle. Make sure the pleated edges of your flower are caught beneath the brad. Then flip the flower over and fold out the prongs of the brad. A quick tip on buying feathers. If you're getting them from a craft store, you're probably paying too much. My advice is to visit a store that sells materials for fly tying, such as Sportsman's Warehouse. They have a huge selection and are intended for use in water, so the dyes are of a higher quality. At around $1.50 a bag, they're a great value. I'm using three brown marabou feathers for this hair clip. Arrange the feathers with the tallest one in the center. Hot glue in place. Next, I'm going to add a scrap of felt to the back of my flower. This helps hold it all together. Then hot glue a hair clip to the back. You might have noticed that plain hair clips seem overpriced. I found them to be much cheaper at a salon goods store like Sally's. Or try checking in the sewing notions section of a big store like Walmart. They sell quilting binding clips, which look and function just like hair clips, but for a lower price. Finally, I'm going to add a strip of felt across the inside of my clip. This helps the clip stay put and it keeps your hair from snagging on the clip. Next I'll show you how to make a feathered blossom. The petals are made out of small partridge feathers, creating a delicate accessory with natural charm. Lay the straightest feather down and add a bit of hot glue to the quill portion. Adhere another feather to it, pointing sideways. Continue to add the other feathers in a star shape. You can add a button or brad to the middle. If you're using a brad, first cut off the prongs. Then, hot glue to the center. I decided to also glue a couple of black feathers to the back for added dimension. Finally, add a clip. This last project is really fast and easy. 
you'll need some colored elastic. You can purchase it from any store that sells fabric. The kind I'm using is intended for use on lingerie and has a bit of a ruffled edge. Cut enough elastic to stretch comfortably around your head, plus a half inch extra for gluing. Put a bit of hot glue on one end of the elastic, then fold the other end over and press on top. Make sure your elastic isn't twisted. I'll be using tiger stripe brown feathers on my headband. Add a bit of hot glue to the elastic, then press the quill of the feather into the glue. You don't want to get glue on the feathery end because that will make it look matted. Add some glue to the top of the quill, then press another feather onto it. You want the feathers to overlap, with each feather covering the quill of the one before it. You'll notice that the feathers have a natural curve to them. Make sure the feathers curl downward and not upward. You want the feathers to follow the curve of your head. Cover about one third of the elastic in feathers. For the last feather, tug out the downy portion and trim the quill short. Add to the headband with a dab of hot glue. This tutorial was sponsored by DaveCrafts.com. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit MadeByMarzipan.com.